Hey, Rick here at MathLite, and I want to talk today about the GCF, the greatest common factor. And I'm sure you, you realize and you know that it's important to teach the students what the greatest common factor is. And I'm, I'm not, it's not the purpose of this post to, to explain all that, but you understand it's the largest factor that divides into all the numbers being considered. In this case, we have two, the 20 and the 14, you could have three or more. But greatest common factor. And what I want to teach my students in teaching the greatest common factor is the concept of intersection. Concept of intersection. And I might take a moment and draw a line in blue and a line in black and explain to the kids, okay, so we all know that two lines intersect at, and of course they'll say one point, and, and I want to make a point with my students, no pun intended, that uh, the intersection is the point that belongs to both lines. The point that belongs to the black line and also belongs to the blue line. The point that they both have or both share. And so from there, it's easy to go to intersection in that the factors that they both share. And just an easy way with GCF, and by the way, of course, next lesson, you're going to get to the LCM, and you can do the exact same procedure, of course, only with union. So you've got the GCF, you're going through, they factor the 20, factor the 14, you have your chart, and of course, I'm careful with my students, and I tell them they need to line up their factors in nice vertical lines, right? Twos go in two columns, threes go in three columns, fives in five columns, seven in seven columns. Well... Why is the seven way out there to the right? Because it's got to go in a seven column and there's not one yet, so it's making a seven column. Right? That's important. You know, I, I don't want to put the seven underneath the two or the seven underneath the five. It really destroys the concept of intersection. And so then it's easy to get my, my students to understand that the overall GCF is going to be the full columns. That's where they both have the same factor. So they both have a two, but that's the only factor that these two numbers happen to have, and so of course the GCF is two. Now once you teach them on something simplistic, then we can go on to more complex numbers, but really all they're doing then is reading the intersection. And by the way, isn't that the key concept we want them to take away from the whole thing of GCF anyhow? It really, really is. So these are the things that we try to do at MathLite. We try to illustrate these concepts and illustrate these practices so that the students will understand what's going on and be able to apply these principles in related areas. That's the key to math. Hey, you could do that in your classroom. I hope you'll give it some consideration. We're here at MathLite. You know we want to be a help to you. 